So as we do every other week, I'm going to be giving you an update on my Weeble stock portfolio. If I received any dividends and any new positions that I added or positions that I added to over the last two weeks. Before I jump into the portfolio, for those of you who are interested in using the free Weeble trading app, I will have a link in the description below and you can get two free stocks. You get one stock for opening up a new Weeble trading um, account and then you get a second free stock when you fund your Weeble free trading account. So again, you can get two free stocks by using my link in the description. One for just opening up a Weeble account and you get a second free stock when you fund your Weeble account with $100. Now let's look at the portfolio. So for those of you who are new to the channel and this is your first time seeing my Weeble dividend portfolio, I started this portfolio in July on the 26th. I have deposited a total $1,030 and I've received since opening the account $10.20 in dividend. And since the last update, let's take a look at the portfolio. Before we do that, let's look at the dividend payments that I received. So since the last update on November the 9th, I received two dividend payments one from PBCT, which is an aristocrat. It's a bank, and I received $1.07 in dividends. And then also for AbV, I have one share of AbV, and I received $1.07 for AbV for a total of $2.14, bringing my dividend total for this portfolio to $10.20 total. And as you can see here, the dividends that I received since opening this portfolio. So let's go back now to the portfolio. So as I said before, I've deposited $1,030 into this portfolio. My net value is $1,152.27. However, my market value is $1,100. $0.76.81. I currently have a buying power of $5.46. My unrealized profit is $118.58. For my, uh, I'm up 11.15% on my portfolio. So I am down a little bit from the last time that I did an update. And I'm going to show you guys why now. So. As you can see, I have two stocks here in the red. The first stock that I have in the red is Ben Franklin Resources. My average cost is $27.32. And the cost that it is going for right now is about $27.32. So I am down two cents on this particular position. I have three shares of Ben uh, Franklin Resources. They have not declared their ex-dividend date but based on some information that I was reading on this stock, I think they will be having an ex-dividend day on Christmas Eve. So I will be buying more shares of this stock. And also, since the last update, I did add uh, two shares of this stock also. So as you can see, or one share of this stock, excuse me, as you can see here, on 11:13, I bought one share of Ben Franklin Resources for $27.30 to add to the two shares that I had, but I will be adding more shares to this position before their next ex-dividend date. And then the next company that I'm down on that we'll take a look at here is PB, excuse me, PBCT, which is People's United Bank. Um, I was down a lot on this position at one point i did sell some of my shares of this stock because the stock had went up and i wanted to get it down to a better 
average price. So now that the cost of this stock is going back down again, I will start to buy more shares of this stock at the lower price so that I can average down my cost of this stock. But they do pay an awesome dividend. Currently, I own six shares of this stock. My average price is $16.40. Um, the last price that this stock was trading at is $16.30. So I am currently down 62 cents on this position. So I will be adding to my position of PBCT. It is a dividend aristocrat as well. So I want to make sure that I get this position up while they're down. So now let's go over my positions in the green. So AT&T is another company that I added to. They've been dropping a little bit in price lately. So as you can see on 11.20, I bought one share at $36.66, bringing my total number of shares to six. My average cost of $37.20. And then also I've been adding to a new position, which is Meredith. And it is a network company. And let's look at this stock a little bit. So they do have an ex-dividend date coming up on 11.27. And they currently pay 57.5 cents per share in dividends. They have a dividend yield of 6.78%. And for as far as this company goes, it's been increasing its dividend for 26 years. So it is a dividend champion. And let's just look at a little bit about the company. So as you can see, the analyst rating is 14.29%, say a strong buy, 28.57%, say it's a buy, and then 42.86%, say hold this stock. And the target price is around $46. The low price is around $25, but the average price is about $38, and currently it's trading at $35.06. Um, on their last earning was their first, first quarter earning. They did hit their earnings. So we'll see what happens on the second quarter. And just to go over a little bit about this stock, for those of you who are not familiar with it, as you can see that Meredith Corporation is a diversified media company. The company is focused primarily on home and family marketplace. It operates through two segments local media and national media its local media segment includes 17 owned television stations one managed television station and a related digital and mobile media operation its national media segment includes magazine publishing custom content and customer relationship marketing digital and mobile media brand licensing database related activities and other related operations its national media segment focuses on the food, home, parenthood, and health markets, and is a publisher of magazines serving women. Its own television stations consist of seven CBS affiliates, five Fox affiliates, two My Network TV affiliates, and one NB, excuse me, NBC affiliate, one ABC affiliate, and two independent station it also offers personalized emotional wellness platforms that helps kids and adults build the emotional strength and confidence to handle stress so i thought that it was a good company to invest in um, they pay an awesome dividend the dividend yield is good the dividend is trading at a good cost right now in my opinion so i will be adding to my position on this 26 year dividend champion and then to the rest of my positions in this portfolio, um, I have HP, which I went over with you guys last time. I have four shares. My average cost is $38.27. It's currently trading at $39, and I am up $2.91. And then we have Abby, which I only have one share. My average cost is $66.45. It is currently trading at $86.01. I am up $19.56 on my one share. And then I have my best stock in my portfolio, which is Legit and Platt. I own four shares. My average cost is $37.77. And the cost that it's trading at is $52.33. 
and I am up $58.24 on this position. Last but not least is ADM Archer Daniels. I have three shares. My average cost is $37.23 and it is trading at $42.50. I am up $15.81 and then we have Walgreens. I own two shares. My average cost is $51.70. It is trading at $60.80 and I am up $18.20. So we all know that the market pretty much just does what it wants to do lately and any little thing can trigger the market. So if you guys have any questions about my portfolio or any of my holdings, please feel free to leave a comment below. Remember, this is just for entertainment purposes only. I am not a professional. I am just sharing with you guys what I'm doing. You guys should definitely seek the advice of a professional and always do your own research. If you haven't yet, please make sure that you hit the like button because it does help with the YouTube algorithm. If you also haven't yet, please make sure to hit the subscribe button. And as I said, if you're interested in opening a Weeble account, please use my link in the description. And there will also be other links that you can use if you want to open up a Robinhood account or a SoFi Invest account. Also, if you guys are not yet, make sure that you follow me on my social media sites so that you can keep up with other things that I'm doing and receive daily inspiration and motivation. Again, it is your girl Marie Brown. Make sure that you keep your minds in motion and always becoming the best version of yourself. Thank you for tuning in.